is Radio Victoria. John Hammond with you on the early show on a very chilly Monday morning. Believe me, it is not pleasant out there at all today. Got a great show lined up for you this morning, including all usual requests and dedications. More about those in a moment or two. First, let's see if we can forget the cold weather for a moment as we play some music and go back to the summer of 1969. Good you twinkle below Morning. Did you go to X-ray yesterday, James? Right. Oh? Because it's mixed up again. Hello, Dean. You did this on purpose. No, I didn't. Is it this week's? No, it's last year's. Slippers off while you're on the bed. Well, I think that's everything. I suppose you want me to take myself off then? Mm, be all right. Give Dutchie a kiss, Farmer, and don't forget to feed her. As if. Right then, I'll see you later. Bye bye, love. And um, please just. Well, I'll be keeping my fingers crossed, you know that. Bye, Mrs. Taylor. And don't worry, she's safe with us. Well, this is bad news, Janie. I thought you were going home tomorrow. So what's with the high temperature, eh? I don't know. I feel all squelched inside. Never mind. Let's have a look. I'm wide. That's your bed on the left there, Danny. Mum, will you put a sock in it? It's only an appendectomy, Mrs. Phillips. Connor's having teeth out. She don't like dentists. Come on, I'll show you around while your mum's unpacking. Sebastian? This is Danny. Danny, Sebastian. Hello. And this is James and Dean, partners in crime. All right. That's Janie with the doctor. Finally. This is Kim, another new recruit like yourself. OK? No, it's not OK. It's a kid's ward, is this? I'll come out on men's ward. Cos you have to be a man. Right, Mrs Phillips. <laughs> once you're into your glad rags, Dr Morton will come over and give you the once-over, all right? I am a man. Cheeky git. Who does he think he is? Oh, yeah. All settled? Yes, I am. Can't keep you away, can we? Well, I know the grub's lousy, but the waiters always have a smile for the regulars. At least I'm in the same bed. No, mm, not by accident, you know. Oh, you all right? Yeah. I'll catch you later. You're off then, Mrs Phillips. You mustn't worry. You'll be home this time next week, fit as a fiddle. Same word. Same bed. At least you can see everything from here. Didn't think I'd be coming back in here. Didn't work last time. The operation. Didn't work. In from once then. It was an accident, a gas explosion. In the home? No, uh, called a shop down her street. She was the only casualty. Broken arm, collarbone, and the rest. She won't talk about it. Has anyone tried? Of course they have. I've tried. And? Nothing. No. Look, I put in a lot of time with Kim. She was in for a month last time, and I tried, Khan tried, we all tried to get through to her. So don't give me that. Stinks in here. That's sad, long. You get used to it after a bit. Help yourself, I've read them all twice. 
Just thinks of sweaty feet to me. Right, which one's James? Me. Take your hands out of your pockets. Well, you seem to be coming along slowly but surely, so it should be any day now. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for this one, Dean, which is why I've been having tummy pains. It hasn't moved much since the last x-ray, has it? Well, take my word for it. So we've talked it over with your parents. And if there's no change by Wednesday, we're going to have to think again. OK? Right? Off you go. Same as me, those Bastion. They can't pack you off until you're better. Oh, and you'd know, wouldn't you? I heard him talking about you in the office. Wait, shouldn't have been listening. He's on a special diet for his thyroid gland. I don't know how anyone can put on weight with the food they serve here. Yeah. I've ordered to look at a peanut and I put on a stone. I feed my hamster more than he gets. How do you spell thyroid? Not with an F. And you haven't got TH. Scrabble? Yeah, do you want to play? No chance. Load of rubbish. You're looking at Knuckles Champion of Sandgate Youth Club here. What's that? Put your fist out. Ow! See? Ah. Knuckles. Is that supposed to be clever? Hey, you know what he's in for? Because he's fat. I'd hate to be fat and well fit me. Best soccer player in our school. Feel that. Look my appendix out in morning. Shape's not your tongue. Oh, funny. She's not listening to you. Shut it, monkey face. She's deaf. You what? He's deaf not. Must be catching. Is that right? Is that right? Aren't you deaf? Yeah, but you don't have to talk to me as if it's simple. And just for the record, your breath stinks. Sorry. Well, it's very busy <coughs> tea time on the wall, so don't forget when that lady arrived for that trolley. <coughs> don't all rush at once, do you? We don't want any accidents, do we? This thing is in the USA. I know that most of you just can't wait to get your teeth into that delicious hospital. Can I tell something? What? Okay, take things out to my turn, the thing you look like spot. Smile, my little rat. I'm the best soccer player we've got in our school. He's probably the only soccer player they've got, because nobody will be in his team. Gremlin. Okay, kids, grubs up. Do you think I should eat with a temperature, Bella? No, sweetheart. Try using a knife and fork, okay? That's supposed to be funny. <laughs> Wake up, Sebastian. Time to eat. Hey, what's mine? Rabbit fodder. I'm tired if you don't give us some proper food. I don't think so, somehow. <laughs> don't look out, Bella. <laughs> Kiss you, Bella, more hey, right. Hey, you've got lucky Rambo beef stew. What's more, I pigs were. If the cap fits, big boy. <laughs> now this is the Incas. Do you want to talk about it, Kim? It's all right. Whenever you're ready. Now this is what we did last time. Repaired a hole in your eardrum. But what we didn't realise then is that this tiny bone had been dislocated by the explosion. So what Mr. Khan is planning to do is to put it back where it belongs, which we hope will do the trick. Do you understand? Oi, which one are you? James. Turn it over, James. I'm not watching this junk. Leave it. Oi. Did you do that at home? What? Put your feet on the furniture with your slippers on. No, I wear my docks at home. Oh, do you? We're giving you a shave later for your operation. Don't shave yet. Not your face, dummy. <laughs> It's not like last time.
start to be going home, back to normal, hearing everything. Sorry, Kim. I'm really sorry. But look, we can always try again, can't we? What's the point if it's not going to work? What's the point in staying? If I wait till mine, it'll be too late. Hey. I'm talking to you. What? Didn't mean to give you any ass hug, you know. Will you be able to do everything then? After the up? No. How come? I just know. Last one did No saying it won't be different this time. See, when I was in a football team at Parkside Juniors, I was always in reserve. And this day, midship had gone down with runs. I'm called up to play in midfield. Oh, should have seen me. Bricking it I was. Everyone there watching me. I couldn't let the side down, made myself poorly over it. So I gets to thinking, it's no use looking at black side all the time. Anyway, day the match came, I started to tell myself, you're gonna do it Danny, it's gonna be all right. You know what, I could feel it working, it felt great. I couldn't wait to get my gear on and get out there midfield. What happened? I scored, three minutes to time. So just get in there girl and tell yourself, you're gonna do it. You've no need to worry. Who says I'm worried? Well, if you're not worried, why aren't you asleep? Mind your own business. Tell you what, never played in reserves again. This is Radio Vid with more of your requests and dedications coming up later in the show. Plus, use the competition you might like to enter. First, who's want to get you going this morning? Uh, Just slide yourself across, then, Kim. That's it. No. Well, the song's lousy. The video's terrific. Oi, Bella reckons you're in the next operating theatre to me. It's not to give you any aggro. Just bang out well. Right? Good luck, sweetheart. We're going to end you. Hey, what's this then? Right. Miss Palmer is just going to give you a teeny injection to help you relax before your operation. What are you waiting for? You can't bite back now. <laughs> when you wake up, he's still got his eyes shut. But he keeps going on about something or other. Mm. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Mm. Especially if you let me blow you up, man. Mm. He said yes. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. I think you better get back to your bed, madam, before Dr. Morton catches you. He said I could blow it. Go on, up it. You two can shut up. Oh, me tummy. Motor bog. Nurse Stevens. I think James is just about to lay the golden egg. Wait to me, James. I'll be right with you, sweetheart. And I'll just leave that in for a few minutes. Hi, kid. How are you feeling? Where is she? Oh, she's fine. Tucked up in recovery. She'll be back any time now. Let's put it like this. It's either intensive care or a starvation diet to get rid of this fever. Perhaps it'll go away on its own. Perhaps it'll be better tomorrow. Or even tonight. Well. <clears throat> perhaps it's having your tea so hot. That's the problem. Eh?
Maya. Oh, I've been in here. It's not been once. I'm not a bit bothered, like. But I'll have him when I get out. Shut your racket, will you? It's like a flaming playground in here. Does it hurt? It's killing me. Well, it hurts. But I can take it. How about you? It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. doesn't anything. Like I said, no difference. Remember what I said about looking on black side? Doing yourself no good, you know. Do you want to play? Yeah. Spit. You do. Higher and 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 higher. And higher, and higher, and higher. Sebastian, I'm surprised at you. Off the bed. If you're feeling so energetic, I'll get the physio to increase your exercises. One. If I thought you wouldn't swallow it again, I'd give you this to keep as a souvenir. They won't swipe me, it's honest, they won't. Cool, ain't it clean? Like it, man, no, miss. You just concentrate on getting rid of yours first. You'll be going down to x-ray again later on. Take your shoes off. All by yourself this time. I know there's lots of mums and dads on the ward at the moment, so quite a pile of medication to get through today. Firstly, hello to Diane. That's Diane Fielding, our 28. She's still got her leg in plaster, but I'm told it's coming off tomorrow. Uh, the plaster, that is. Hi, and a very happy birthday to you, James. Lots of love from mum, dad, and auntie. There's also onions and greens. Yeah. Some sandwiches. Uh, Let's have a look, then. Better be clean. Yeah. She'll have to be going shortly. So you've got your orange juice, and I've brought your clean nighty and your Adrian mole. You've told me twice. But is there anything else you need? Because I can ask your dad to fetch it tomorrow. I've told you no thanks. Stop you missing me. <gasps> missing you? She's had me up nearly every night, howling her head off. Never mind. I'll be on soon. This comes off tomorrow. Have you... Do you think there's any improvement? I want to say. I said I'm sure everything's going to be all right. I'll see you later, love. We'll lock you down. Me and her get on all right. Bye. Bye. Matter? I'm going home. You <coughs> should be chill. I like it here. Have the discharge to them. Yeah. Well, I'm working on something else. How do you mean? I'm going in for a big one next time. They keep you in for months with back pain. Here. Okay. I've got something for you. It's called Walter. For tomorrow to bring you up when you have your bandages off. Oh, <coughs> but how will I get him back to you? I reckon I'm being back in here before you leave. You ready, Tiger? Your mum's here. Have you said to her? See you soon! Bye. See you, monkey face! Good. Look at this way. Can you hear anything I am saying at all? Thank you. Don't say it. What? We can always try again next year. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to say anything, because, to be honest, I really don't know what to say. I can't tell what you're saying unless you look at me. Listen. I think you're a very brave girl, and I think you might not hear very much, but you'll make up for it by what you see, Kim. And that's a special gift. A little less of the gloomsville, please. We don't know anything for definite yet. I'd be able to hear if it works. Not necessarily. It don't all depends give me that crap. Just don't keep lying to me. I'll go. Have you hit me dire straits? Oh, Dean's on his sick Christopher mood. Do you think I'll be all right? Yeah. There's nothing you can do. I feel like I've let her down. Look! I know I shouldn't, but that's the way it is. I don't care what Khan says. You've got to tell her the truth, Dave. What, again? I had that dirty job last time. 
all right, I'll tell her. Oh, for God's sake, she knows better than any of us. She only knows resentment. That's all she can feel right now. All right, Doctor. Go on. You tell her about her prospects. But I warn you, you just cover your eye because I get the feeling she'll just spit in it. And I don't blame her. Children's ward. It's the ignorant of what? Oh, that for nothing. Why me? Stuck inside me own stinking head for the rest of my life. I can't stand it. I'm sick of everybody feeling sorry for me. I want to hear our Dutchy barking. I want to hear my records and my mates. I want to hear. I want to hear. You're tuned to Gently Through the Night. And it's a cold one again. Temperatures down to minus two Celsius. Anyway, I trust you're all warm and cosy. The news and flight clothing are next. Taking us there, Humpy Boss Classic. Blackbird Get lost. Sleep. No, you're not. Danny, say something. You heard me. You heard me? Yeah, I can hear everything. Are you sure? Of course, I'm sure. Speak to me. Um, I can't. I can't think of anything. Oh, come on. You never shut your mouth when I couldn't hear a word you were saying. That's the phone. Correct. Stopped. Cool. you got ears like a sheep <laughs> Oh, hey, I thought something to tell you. Go on. Right, there's these three bears. They'd moved into this flat. And they come home one night and found it in a bit of a mess. It's been burgled. Clear everywhere. It's clear as a bell. Shut up, will you? Right, Mummy Bear says, who's been eating my porridge? Then you Daddy... You don't sound as thick as you look. Will you shut up? And then Daddy Bear says, who's been eating my porridge? You don't think it'll go away, do you? No. Now, then Baby Bear says, stuff the porridge. Where's the video? <laughs> Isn't that bad, will it? No. I did it before. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly all your life. You were only waiting for this moment to arise. Blackbird singing in the dead of night Take these sunken eyes and learn to see All your life You are only waiting for this moment to be free Blackbird fly Blackbird fly Into the light of a dark black night 